Please, allow me to show you something. Okay, so just a start of the vlog. This is the travel vlog from Port of Spain to Milan. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of the experience in Italy. And so this first clip, I um, got my COVID test at home. It really depends on you and like if your nose is clear mm -hmm. or not. Do you have, you have sinuses or anything? Uh, and you got the result in like... Our test. Okay. <laughs> Two lines. Okay. So the C is for control and the T is the... Mm -hmm. yeah, so try not to be nervous. <laughs> Like a change of color, or the service I used it was from Access Health, so they have the service for both the antigen and the PCR test at home. So I chose that option because I basically had 26 hours in transit and I didn't want to chance having to take another test just because of the hassle of it. So I just wanted to make sure the first test I took would be valid until I got to my last destination so i wanted to make sure i took my test on sunday a lot of places don't have testing on a sunday um somewhere else had it i think victoria labs but i didn't want to drive into port of spain like to throw off my entire day because i was needed to travel the night it's like 10 minutes before i leave home <laughs> for my flight and i'm here with abby hi <laughs> and i got some lovely banana breads and coffee cakes from Jess Bacon. I guess it was a little inclined so you can't roll back a little bit. The Caribbean Airlines counter of me. So I made it through security. Um, I was a little worried because I know definitely that I was overweight, but we made it. So it is now it's nine fifty, and check in is at like eleven ten. So I have about like an hour already clear security. So I am not by the gate as yet. Um, just sitting on here by a ritual. Um, that could just come off. Yeah, I just sitting on here by rituals before the gate. So, great to sit back and yeah. So, I still need to decide what I'm doing in New York because I basically have a 13 hour layover and if we minus like check in time and everything, I still have at least eight hours if we're being generous. Eight hours, so I need to decide if I want to go about and explore, or if I'm gonna play it safe and just um, like stay in the airport, although it doesn't have anything to do. So I'll see. I get into um, New York at five thirty. This exposure is very red. Yeah, I get into New York at five thirty a.m. and my flight out is at seven thirty p.m. So. I basically have the day so i need to figure out what i'm doing so yeah mm -hmm.
it is currently 10 a.m. I got in here, the flight landed early, so it's supposed to land 5.30, so let's call it 5.30. The boarding process was, well, the disembarking process was slightly annoying, so um, it had to exit row by row, as in row 20, so that took a while. And then apparently, every time I come to the US, I always have to be stopped for extra security. And the person who was doing it took extra long. He had to take a phone call. Everybody who come in, he had to greet them, catch up. Like, it was hella annoying. So people came in after me, left before me, but whatever. I have a 13 hour layover, so yeah. Now I'm looking for baggage storage because I have all of that with me. I've walked the entire terminal for and I don't feel that I have I have found it unless I'm blind, like they don't have proper signage. So this is the this is my first seat. This is where I'm taking a seat. Because I've basically been standing all morning. <sighs> Only during that extra security check, I got a little seat. The immigration line, super long. Spent an hour in line before I got to the officer. So, yeah, it's 10 a.m. So I guess on my agenda today, I would not be leaving the airport. I was kind of playing with it in my mind, but clearly... That would not be an option anymore so once i find some baggage storage then i would um just probably roam the airport so yeah It is now 20 to 12. I am basically back in the same spot because I knew that JFK's airport is trash. Like, um, the I've only trans, I don't want to say transit, but I've passed through JFK airport like twice and it was just, it was like quick and go. I came in, I was to go, whatever. I never had like a layover or anything or spent any extended period, period of time in JFK. However, I was doing research to see like, you know, what it had to do in JFK for the, for the time. And a lot of reviews said that it's like the worst airport for layovers. It's not a nice, it's not a traveler friendly airport at all. And Alex, I have experienced it for myself and it's horrible. This is the worst airport ever transit in. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. My feet are hitting. This is my seating right now. Because there are no seats. There are no seats by the departure terminal. There are no seats here on the arrival lounge. I took the air train, went around, well, I, didn't, I only came off at Terminal 1 because I wanted somewhere to store my bags. I didn't even bother because I wasn't going through that. So, this is me at the moment in, in front of a restaurant that is not open. So, yeah. Because there are no seats anywhere at all. So it's the floor you have to sit on. Yeah. Anyway, so now the only good thing so like Miami, they only have like free Wi Fi for like an hour. Here is unlimited free Wi Fi. If you want higher speeds, then you have to pay. So yeah. Now I'm gonna watch I 
continue watching my current Netflix series, which is Sex Education. Again, it is now only 12, and my flight is at half seven. You could only check into the flight like five hours before. So if I have to check my bags, I could only check my bags from like half two p.m. So I still have about three hours and some to burn. So yeah. Hello. So it's one, well, quarter to one, and I'm still vagranting. Um. I mustered enough money. <laughs> Just kidding. I bought a bagel from Dunkin' Donuts. So it's like a breakfast bagel with um, eggs and bacon. So and and uh, focus and iced tea. A card. I think it was the caramel craze. Like it's not too sweet at all. Definitely taste any coffee. I definitely needed some coffee. I was falling asleep on myself. So yeah, this is me. At least, you know, I can go check in my bags at two o'clock, hopefully. Actually when two o'clock is half two. So yeah. <sighs> I'm feeling so tired. I cannot wait to sleep. So when I go to check in and my hands are empty because I definitely cannot vlog, all my hands are filled when I'm toting these bags. So when my hands are empty, I'll be able to like walk around, etc. So yeah, see you guys. <laughs> so my gate is B26. So I'll be going this way and as you can see this is B18 to B55 so that's how many gates it has so this is going to be a walk. Oh, I didn't even reach the gates as yet. I don't think I want anything, so I'll just continue walking. So I, it's four o'clock, just cleared security. And well, I showed you all that I'm walking to the gate. I'm so tired. Hope it has some seats. I changed my top because my suitcase was overweight, so I had to take out some things, and the sweater was bulkier, so I just changed my top so it wouldn't be as bulky in my bag. <sighs> so It's close to pot in time and I kind of feel hungry so I got some pizza there's like two slices of pizza and a fountain drink for 10 US I kind of find these slices big but we live and they like they give you it in like plates but I had a disposable container from this morning so I just put it in here
should I take a fork to eat this? To eat stush. <laughs> Borden is in like 15 minutes. So I'll have an extra slice of pizza because this is a lot. I wanted to do what I have in my bag video, but that's not going to work out. Anyway, I'll see if I see y'all on the plane, and then when I reach to Milan. or in the overhead bin, they may not be stowed in seat pockets. By decree of the Italian government, on all flights to and from Italy, loose garments such as shoes, jackets, sweaters, and hats may not be placed directly in the overhead bins or in closets. You can wear them or store them underneath the seat in front of you. If you need to store them, place your carry-on bag, place it in your carry-on bag or in, the, in a plastic bag.
Ready? Okay. So, oh. on any phone, <laughs> I have made it to Italy, Malpensa, and they're gonna email the results too. What do you think? Oh, so yeah, I keep this on you all the time. Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, so to enter places is locked for like two days, but that's not for 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 the beyond thing. Yeah. Mm. How how come it took so long? I don't know. It was just there, and then it took like a five minutes between me, me and him. Going back and forth, trying to understand each yeah. other, and then we went to Google Translate. On, <gasps> oh my uh, gosh, <laughs> where are you now? The bus, the bus. Okay, <laughs> meow, meow. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> yeah, so made it. It is now. Watch where you're walking. Oh, oh such a gentleman. It is now like 6 a.m. in Trinidad. So it is now 12 p.m. So two hours later, I got in like around 6 a.m. I mean, 4 a.m. Trinidad time. Now it's like 6 a.m. Trinidad time. 12 p.m. Italian time. So, yeah just organizing transports and yeah basically i'm here so i guess i could end the vlog here because i have reached so i am in italy outside the airport <laughs> so see you bye I'm a dirty shoes. Boy, I'm thinking fat. Oh, it really did look nice. 